All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? My name is Cosmos, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, my friends, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate guide to the new minigun weapon inside of Fortnite. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you may or not know, there's been this new update inside of Fortnite, and it introduced the minigun, which is a fast-firing weapon that has a whole bunch of ammo, and you don't have to reload it, which is absolutely amazing. But we're going to be going through with you guys everything they need to know about this weapon, how much damage it does, how to use it, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to go through in the video so if you guys want me to do this with every weapon that releases inside of fortnite make sure you do tell me down in the comments section yes i do want to see more of this or nah nah it's a bad idea but it's up to you guys you guys can tell me what do you think do you guys want this or not but anyway let's get into this video without waiting any longer so the minigun comes in two variants and this is the epic or purple variant and also the legendary or orange variant and basically what these two there's not much difference between the two of them I'm going to go through the stats with you guys right now. So basically, obviously, there's a ranged weapon and it's an assault weapon. So yeah, it's a ranged weapon. And if I were to classify this as something, it would be classified kind of, I would compare it to the SMG. And you guys will see why in a second. First of all, it actually it takes light bullets. So light bullets is the bullets that it uses and it doesn't have to reload them at all. It's got around the same fire rate as the uh, SMG. Its fire rate is 12. So as you can see there. Meanwhile, the fire rate is 15 on an SMG, so it's kind of close there. Tell me if I'm wrong with the SMG statistic, because I just went on a website, I went on a few websites, and it all seemed to have about 15, so it is kind of close to the fire rate. It's got a really fast fire rate, and if we go ahead and just compare the fire rate to an assault rifle, for the example, a normal M16 AR actually shoots at a 5.5 fire rate, so this is nearly double that uh, fire rate of a normal AR, so it is a pretty fast fire rate of that. It's less, just a little bit less less than the SMG, but a lot higher than the AR, of course, there. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically just the main things about it. Uh, the legendary version does 17 damage, and the minigun does 16 damage. Once again, the kind of the same as the uh, SMGs. That's why I'm trying to compare it to the SMGs here. Once again, its durability is infinite, so it's not going to slow you down if you have it in your hands. Like, that's what I that's what I was really um, confused about. I wasn't sure when they actually put it in. Were they going to go ahead and make you go slower with it, or were they going to make it any different? But no, it is the exact same. You're going to walk the exact same speed as you would with any other weapon. Um, the reload time is 4.5 seconds, and it's 4.7 seconds on the uh, purple version. And the impact is 31, and the impact on the epic version is 29. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically the main statistics. We're going to go through the headshot damage as well. When you hit a headshot with this weapon, it's going to do 42 damage on the legendary variant of it uh, with a headshot and just a normal 17 damage normally. So, that is pretty average stuff. With the fire rate, it is absolutely insane because this thing doesn't have to reload. You can have, if you have 500, um... Uh, small bullets basically all you do is you just got to charge up your weapon and after that you can spray for as long as you want It's absolutely crazy. I'm not sure exactly how long the charge up time is But before you do shoot it takes a little while to charge up But after you charge up that once you should be good uh, for a little bit then you don't have to charge it up again so um, basically uh, that's how it works. That's the main parts of this gun. And now we're going to basically basically just be talking about how to actually use this. What are the best situations to use this? And I know that you guys are probably reading this now and you guys are like, wait, dude, if, if you're comparing this to an SMG, what makes it any better than an SMG, bro? What? It doesn't have to reload? Is that it? But this weapon right here is very, very good for different situations. The SMG is really kind of useless as it doesn't have any range on it really. And you do have to reload, obviously, a lot. And basically, with this gun here... I would not really go around trying to absolutely wreck people, just taking them on one by one. With a sh If some guy's rushing with a shotgun, you're not going to go ahead and rush them with an LMG. You're going to want to be making sure that you use this. If someone's building a big fort or something, and you just want to stop them from spam building, this is where you want to use this. You want to make sure that you have a whole bunch of ammo, because you're going to want to be spraying for a long period of time. And if someone's spam building, like, you know those guys that you shoot at once and they just spam builds, builds a base within no time. You can do that. That is what I usually use this uh, weapon for. Just absolutely wrecking those people that try and spam build all around their bases and stuff. And it's like, boy, you got no chance against me because this thing is absolutely, it, it, it obliterates it. It's not really meant for one-to-one one -one combat. I think it's more meant for you to absolutely spray at people and just spray at their buildings. And if you do get a few lucky hits on them, then that will help you out a lot because 
uh, it's not really meant for you to actually go ahead and rush people, which is a common um, thing that a lot of you guys have been saying to me. You guys have been like, yo, this gun is so bad. But really, in the right situations, it is one of the best guns in the game. If you're going to be rushing people 1v1, of course it's not going to be very good because it's not really made for that. But if you go ahead and actually go ahead and use it um, just to mow down bases, and even if you can just, if there's a little base on the top of a hill, you can just go ahead and spray down the foundations of it and just bring down the whole entire base. That's really what it's meant for. It's absolutely crazy for taking down buildings and just spraying out players. If you have multiple members on your team, you can really just absolutely smash down a whole team's base with just you guys with your miniguns. And it is crazy, crazy good for that type of thing. That's the common misconception that I actually see with this weapon. A lot of you guys saying that it's bad and I'm like, no, 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 you're using it wrong. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video here. Now also the DPS, if I'm going to compare this DPS of this gun to a whole bunch of other weapons, which is the DPS right here is the damage per second. We're going to go with the legendary variant and that is the DPS on that is 204. If we actually go ahead and now compare that to a whole bunch of the other weapons, the AR's DPS is 176, which is damage per second, 176. So obviously, this weapon outplays the DPS inside of the normal M16 common variant. Also, with the SCAR even, it's uh, the SCAR's DPS is 214, which is only a little bit more than the minigun, which just shows you how much devastation you can actually cause with this weapon. And that is a legendary SCAR as well. So the legendary variant of this and the legendary variant of the SCAR, the DPS is around the same. The SCAR's got a little bit more, but if we go ahead now and actually look at the uh, rare burst assault rifle, uh, the rare burst assault rifle is got a DPS of 203, which is one less than the uh, actual minigun that we have, the legendary minigun, um, and that just shows that this thing can really cause some devastating damage with the high fire rate, and it can really cause some devastating damage because you don't have to reload it. If you have a whole bunch of ammo, you can just spray this at enemies, and it really does does do bits, and it can cause devastation if you use it correctly. If we get, compare the DPS to more freaking weapons here, we got even some shotguns, and the shotguns have 100 DPS, the tactical shotgun uncommon, 100 DPS, uh, which just shows like this thing can absolutely obliterate enemies, just comparing it to the statistics over the other guns. Um, the DPS on this is really, really high, and it matches the uh, Golden Scar, which is absolutely insane. So if I'm going to recap this for all you guys right now, this gun, it basically has some really good damage, it's got a fast fire rate, it only uses um, light bullets, which a lot of you guys were really confused about. You guys are like, what bullets does it use? Does it use heavy? No, it uses light bullets. And if you have 400 light bullets, you don't need to reload this weapon. You can absolutely go out and smash this and just go ahead and just absolutely spray all your... Um, bullets at your enemies without even worrying about reloading, which is what it's definitely good for, and with the fire rate, it just the fire rate, the clip size, and also the uh, damage per second is just absolutely insane, and it just really does obliterate other enemies. It's mainly used for taking down bases, but if there is a guy in a base and you just want to spray it then, you can really just um, cause havoc cause havoc in people's bases, dude. They're going to have to jump out, they jump on the ground, you can just spray it for as long as you want, and... That, in my opinion, is why this weapon could be one of the best weapons. I think it might even be getting a nerf, because so far, it is a very solid weapon, but that will probably end off my ultimate guide for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to go through with you guys the statistics of the weapons, and I thought, you know what? I thought I'd go through with you guys with this, and if you guys do actually want to go ahead and see this with a whole bunch of other a whole bunch of other weapons inside of Fortnite, the new ones that are going to be coming. Make sure you guys do tell me in the comment section below because I would really appreciate if you guys could tell me if you are interested in this or not because obviously i got no idea whether you are interested in this or not. So we are actually going to be getting a silenced weapon coming in probably about next week, which I think is going to be probably a silenced sniper. And I can probably do something like this to show you guys whether this gun is worth it or not and whether you could actually go ahead and use it and whether it is usable and how to use it. So that's basically the aim. I hope I did help you guys out in this video. If I did, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up on the video as well as subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And if you do want to stay up to date with all my videos coming in the future, make sure you do chuck on that notification bell. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.